Well, the U.S. Treasury Department has announced that it will freeze all assets of the Russian central bank held in America. Protesters have once again gathered outside the White House to support Ukraine. Joining us live is our Washington correspondent, Annalise Nielsen. Annalise, economic sanctions are starting to really hit the Russian economy, aren't they? They are. The ruble's down about 25% of its original value thanks to these sanctions, and the expectation is it's only going to get worse. You can see here a bit of the pressure that's on the White House at the moment. These are protesters out the front supporting Ukraine, and this has been a consistent presence here over the last few days, numbering in the thousands over the weekend. But Monday morning, as Joe Biden arrived back to the White House ahead of the State of the Union, this is what he was greeted with. This is becoming an increasingly popular issue in the United States for more support beyond just that funding boost for weaponry. We're also going to have a briefing for senior senators tonight from the Ukraine ambassador to the United States. But the global pressure is mounting. One of the best examples of this is the speech by German Chancellor Olaf Scholz in Germany. It's there that this was one of the biggest resets we've seen to European order in decades. Let's face it, Putin won't change his course overnight. But very soon already, the Russian leadership will notice what a high price it will pay. Just last week alone, the Russian stock market value lost more than 30%. This shows our sanctions are effective, and we reserve the right for further sanctions without any limits. The other factor here is we are on the eve of the State of the Union. This is Joe Biden's first State of the Union since taking office. He did do a 100-day speech, but now it's going to be completely overshadowed by what's happening in Ukraine, the pressure for him to take a leadership role in the world to stop this ongoing invasion of Ukraine. And there's also going to be an element of this where they're not going to get to focus on any of the achievements that they want to tout. But with his approval rating being a record low, this is a critical time for him to try and reset what's been a very tough first year for the Biden administration. OK, Annalise Nielsen, thank you. And do join us tomorrow for full live coverage of President Biden's State of the Union address. A special preview of that speech will begin here on First Edition. And the full address will be live on Sky at 1pm Eastern Daylight Time.